A few weeks ago, I reviewed Muppets Now. However, that's not the only puppet show to debut on Disney Plus recently. Brian Henson devised a talk show centered on an alien who tries to learn about Earth culture, titled Earth to Ned. All ten episodes were released at once, and I thought they were absolutely delightful and a lot of fun to watch. They take the concept in a number of clever directions, with each episode exploring a specific theme and having their own share of guest stars. The show does a really good job of establishing who the characters are and why they're hosting the show. After the first episode, you already know who the host Ned, his sidekick Cornelius, the AI Betty, and the shark tooth Claude's are. There's a great dynamic between them, and that adds to the enjoyment of the show. Ned is voiced by Paul Rugg, who is most well known for voicing Freakazoid, and he successfully brings the needed wackiness and likability to the role. Ned is a remarkable creation, who required six puppeteers to bring him to life. The interview segments are largely improvised, so the fact Rug and the puppeteers work so closely in sync is amazing. Cornelius is voiced by Michael Oosterholm, who primarily puppeteers background Muppets, so it's good to see him get the chance to play a major character on the series. Cornelius makes for a lovable sidekick, and he more than does the job of being the Andy Richter to Ned's Conan O'Brien. Richter even guest stars in the first episode to give pointers on being a good talk show host and sidekick. Speaking of the interviews, they selected some really good guests for this first season. Brian Henson has said he wanted guests who could have a natural interaction with the puppets and who could think fast on their feet. Thus, there are talented folks like Kristen Schaal, Jenny Slate, Lil Ra Howery, Thomas Lennon, Paul Shear, Raven Simone, and Rachel Bloom, who feel right at home on Earth to Ned. For those of you who are fans of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Bloom even launches into a musical number. The parts where the guests are caught off guard do feel genuine, and that makes the appearances even funnier. If you know about the making of Herbie Fully Loaded, a part where Thomas Lennon grimaces is especially funny. The show plays around with the formula, which allows the episodes to stay fresh even when watching them together. I mentioned in my Muppets Now review that the show lacked variety and felt repetitive to me. As you can see, I did not encounter that problem with Earth to Ned. Each episode clocks in at around 20 minutes and have a good pace and snap to them. There's also an arc throughout the show, as Ned fears his commander father if he ever discovers Earth has not been conquered as originally planned. Even the Claudes have their own character development as they get more entranced by Earth culture. Occasionally Cornelius will go to the Earth's surface and record a segment, and those are hilarious and inspired too. My favorite is probably when he goes through the entire span of a comedian's career in a few minutes. Even though the show is on Disney Plus and family friendly, I was surprised at some of the references made when they bring the guests on. I never thought I would hear Hostel, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Get Out referenced by name in a Disney show, and yet they are indeed mentioned in the Scary Movie episode. Ned even brings up Lennon's work on Reno 911. Overall, Earth to Ned is just a really charming, funny, and good-natured show with a lot to appreciate. I feel it's the kind of show Jim Henson sought to do with his Muppet characters, as it treats the puppets with respect and proves they are more than capable of being entertaining as well as human actors. I hope people are watching the show so Disney Plus approves additional seasons, because I'll definitely love to see more comedic antics from Ned, Cornelius, Betty, and the Claudes, and see where their story goes. You can watch all 10 episodes on Disney Plus now, so give them a look and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.